In this tutorial, I'll show examples of how Aurora's new artificial intelligence analyzes the dynamic range of an image to produce the best starting point to begin HDR processing. Let's begin. Starting from the open dialog window, click the open sample images to load a series of bracketed images. Check the auto alignment box, and for now, don't worry about any of the settings under the gear icon. Click Create HDR button to process the images. The new HDR engine analyzes each of the source images. It detects scene type, detects objects within the scene, improves the dynamic range, improves colors, and merges these tone map brackets into a single image. Aurora's new AI tone mapping did an incredible job, but do you remember what I said in the beginning? The AI's job is to produce the best starting point to begin our HDR processing. Let's apply an Aurora HDR look. That looks amazing. That worked great on a series of bracketed images, but even with a single image, the new Quantum HDR engine will give you amazing results. Let's give it a try. Let's click the Open button, and we're going to select Open Images. We'll browse our computer, find an image, and we'll open. And from here, click Create HDR. Sit back and watch the magic happen. Wow, that looks great. Let's do a quick preview. Here's the original image, and here's the processed image. As you can see, the new Quantum HDR engine does an incredible job of AI tone mapping, bracketed, and even single images to produce the best starting point to begin HDR processing.